Hey guys, Jan David Sutar here. AFC Northerners, ah, 34-17, color rush. Oh. Okay, we rushed for 20 plus yards in consecutive games for the first time since 2012. All right, just let's break this down. So let's start on offense and the good, okay? So one, uh, great halftime adjustments, right? Just amazing halftime adjustments bringing through. Um, we had an amazing Lar Lamar Jackson touchdown, uh, and he has the most rushes and two starts of any NFL quarterback ever. I think it's uh, 37. Hey, and uh, let's see, Lamar had 71 yards rushing. Uh, he also had that 39-yard run. Um, John Brown coming through with a 25-yard run. Uh, that crab tree touchdown, finally. Um, Allen with his third down conversion was beautiful. It really changed the whole course of that game. And they really reestablished a running game. And we are 500-plus yards in two games. So that's great. Gus Bus had, um, I think, 118 yards. And um, going back to Lamar Jackson, I I'm going to touch on some of his, but let's get rid of, let's go to the good stuff first. Um, it's a small thing, but it was really great to see like a good little flip to Hurst in the third quarter. I mean, that'll make defenses sweat even more because it just shows that you have the confidence to just flip it instead of just having to run it and you're not just a one trick pony. It's interesting. Um, Andrews is also proving to be another great resource. I'd like to see him utilized more, so let's see if we can get there. Uh, and again, Lamar, Lamar Jackson, just what, what an identity change for this team. And just to keep this in mind, right guys, Lamar Jackson has more rushing yards in college than 17 of the 18 running backs in the first round in 2000, since 2009. Uh, I think the only exception is Melvin Gordon. He had like 4,900. Lamar Jackson has f over 4,100 yes rushing yards in college. It's crazy. Um, okay, so moving on to the bad. Two picks and a fumble on Jackson. That needs to be cleaned up. I, I will say this. Um, one That one tip was kind of dangerous. Um, really needed to... You got to be careful with those kind of throws. I thought that uh, eh, it just... It's not, it's not exactly the kind of stuff I would I would like. Um, you know, one crab tree really couldn't separate in the first half in order to get through, and then wound up getting thrown right into that coverage, and it was just picked right off. And the other was a tip ball. Uh, could have been totally thrown at a better angle, uh, but it almost made it worse because Harris could have easily, the first guy who tipped it, Harris, uh, first player who tipped it, Harris could have easily gotten into an opening right there if he had actually intercepted it and done way worse damage. So we kind of lucked out there as bad as it was. So LGA8 really needs to work on throws and accuracy. I know that there were some headset issues in the beginning. Uh, those seemed to got worked out. But just we have a 61% third down conversion in this game, right? I, I would like to see that a lot higher. It's not bad, but it could definitely be better. Um, moving on to the defense. Good stuff. Suggs. Touchdown in the fourth for 43. You see that man run? Woo! And also, uh, I think it's his third career touchdown. His last one was in 2008. It's insane. Uh, Judon had three sacks. Um, it was finally nice to get sacks. Um, and we'll talk about that. Mosley uh, had a, a pretty decent game. Seven tackles. Good to see him stepping up. We only allowed 67 rushing yards. So our defense on rushing is, on the run, is great. Uh, we wound up having 242 rushing yards for this game. So not, not a bad. Our, uh, I think our yards per uh, play were uh, around six, th I think it was six yards per play on average. So... Keep that up. That's that's great because that means that you know every two uh, basically if you average that out every second down we got 12 yards right so churning 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 uh, so the bad on defense we really look confused in some of those EV coverage uh, situations um, Clark versus Cook in the third the coverage in the third against Roberts as well um, in the first quarter Lee Smith shouldn't have been that open he just shouldn't have been that open and also we have still zero interceptions that needs to change dramatically we really need to work on that um, defense though really just held that that third and fourth quarter together really great job on the defense all of my things are nitpicky uh special teams justin Tar tucker with a 47 yard field goal i mean justin tucker but more interesting baltimore native cyrus jones 70 yard return for touchdown 
This is a kid that comes from Baltimore. He was born Baltimore. And he does a 70-yard return for a touchdown at, at home in purple. Like, that's just dope. I love that. Um, other things, we really need to work on our penalties. Six penalties could be better. It's not bad. But I, I, I'm, I'm a stickler for penalties. I think that it's just not great. It's been better. We've had a way worse games. But six is still a little... I like, I like five or less. It's where I'm at. So we're coming up on Kansas City. Everybody's going to be asking, where do we go next with, with uh, Lamar Jackson? Is he starting against Kansas City or is Flacco? Honestly, I think that Jackson starts. And the reason why is because I think that even though I've, I pretty much have us... Let's see what the injury report comes out for this week. But I really think that that's not a game that's winnable for us. But I could be wrong. I, our defense may like really show up. We seem to play to the level of our uh, teams. We saw that kind of in the first half of this game. And then the second half, like, uh, we just wound up getting a second win. Again, I really credit Buck Allen for that third down conversion to really kind of seal it for us. He really helped us out there. But we're going to talk more about that uh, probably on Wednesday or Thursday, maybe Thursday. We'll see what uh, what day that works out for me to put up the video for versus the Chiefs. But um, I'd like to see Lamar Jackson start on that one. What about you guys? Who do you do you want to see Jackson? Do you want to see Flacco? I'm I'm curious to see what Jackson has. Anyway, guys, um, go watch DGBG's video of the Browns beating the Bengals because it's beautiful. Go watch uh, Mark Herman's video of the Bengals losing to the Browns because it's even more beautiful. Seriously, that uh, that Browns defensive player handing the ball to um, to Hugh Jackson is probably the most beautiful thing I've seen all day. It's fucking funny as shit. Anyway, take care, guys. I'll talk to you guys uh, later on this week. Go Ravens. And fuck the Bengals. Fuck the Browns. Uh, Steelers are playing a little bit. Fuck them. And in the meantime, you guys have a great week because we're doing pretty well. All right. Bye, guys.